Yo guys, welcome back to another video. Today we are going to be discussing at the new Unreal Engines, which is partnered with Epic Games, um, meta, the meta human creator. So this could be a huge impact on Unreal Engines, uh, like how, how they're able to like basically make, um, you know, like character customization, even being hopefully being able to input them in games themselves. So you can make your own character. So it, I could make my an exact copy of myself, or you can make an exact copy of yourself as well. So um, basically, they they just released this. Um, I think about ten ten days ago. Uh, we, this is the trailer. I think it should. Uh, I've been looking at uh, what, when the trailer is going to release and stuff like that. So actually, um, this is what it says. So this is a digital. So these are the tags: digital human features, film and television, games. Met, so the, they do include games, um, and um, and basically webinar working to Unreal Engine. So so I think you are able to put that in games and stuff. Uh, pixel streaming training and simulation this is gonna be this could be a really huge change um if you guys have seen uh marvel's avenger um the the new game that just released it has all this type of character customization so i'd assume that they got early access to this type of stuff um because like or maybe they're maybe they've already like all game developers have already had access to this stuff except they're just releasing um this this beta to the entire public so this is definitely a really really cool thing that that I definitely would um, check out uh, once this releases, of course. So this is what it says. This is the article that they have put up, and I'll uh, be sure to play this um, after we finish the article. So, creating truly convincing digital humans um, is hard. It takes a huge amount of time, effort, and skill, not to mention costly equipment and stuff. So that's how I figured out. I was like, wait, how do they make that in those games? So maybe, maybe so limited games have uh, like the uh, these type of early access if it has partnership with Unreal Engine. So um, let's continue. Um, there's been some great examples running in Unreal Engine over the past years from fictional characters like Senua and Siren to digital copies of Andy Serkis and Mike Seymour. I, I don't know who any of those people are, but uh, so companies like Three Lateral and Cubic Motion have uh, led the field of, in creating performance capture driven 4D animation. We're proud that both of these companies are now part of the Epic family. Creating uh, one high quality digital human is uh, difficult and time consuming. Scaling that uh, scaling that effort to create many diverse digital uh, humans of the quality required by next gen platforms and high end virtual production is a formidable task indeed. That's why today we're incredibly excited to offer you our first one of Meta Human Creator. So this is gonna be real. This is uh, I will definitely uh, have to make a video on this once this releases. I'll just uh, show you guys. Um, once we finish uh, reading this, and then uh, uh, I'll just search up uh, if there's sort of re re uh, release date and stuff. So I'll play the video right now. Just take a look at all the um, like how how they're able to like really customize the face features like and um like if you wanted to be old or something you could have like a gray beard and gray hair which is pretty cool. Is that architect? Which are the, I also noticed that they also have uh, they also have different um, like languages that you're able to put them. So like it could be English, French, uh, Sp Spanish, um, whatever Norwegian. I don't care. I I think there's like different. I, I think there's like like all of the um, like all of the these types of languages that you're able to give to your characters. So I would definitely make a World War Two game. So it would be like creating a German soldier like. Um, with, with like a German, uh, basically with a German voice and as well as in, um, as well as an American soldier. And that would be really cool if I could make a World War II game like that, since I do have those. Alright, so wait, so you're, so, so you're able to actually customize not only the face, but like the actual overall appearance, like of like, you could have like a sweater or something. That's pretty cool, to be honest. You create the narrative. I am metahuman. 
So beard, mustache, eyes, color. You know, that's really insane. So I've I've also read that it takes about third you can make it to thirty minutes. That's how insane this is. And you can proportion their face. That's pretty cool to be honest. Just notice the eye features, that's pretty cool. Coming 2021. Yeah, but when? I know it's coming 2021. I know. They've already uh they've already had it and uh they've already released it um well last month and stuff in uh February the tenth. Wait, when when was this released? Forgot. That's that's fine. Um so it says, this is what it says. Um, MetaHuman Creator is a cloud-streamed app designed to take real-time digital human creation from weeks or months to less than an hour. Without comp uh, comp compromising on uh, quality, it works by drawing from an ever-growing library of variants of human appearance and emotion and enables you to create convincing new characters throughout in, um, in, in Twitter. Wait, sorry. It's sometimes... I'm, uh, that word messes me up. Intuitive, wait, intuitive, yeah. Where it flows that let you sculpt and craft the result you want. As you make adjustments, MetaHuman Creator blends uh, between actual examples in the library in a plausible data constrained, constrained way. You can choose a starting point by selecting a number or preset face is to con contribute to your human from the diverse range in the database. So um, I'll read the rest right here, and then uh, I I really want to know when the release date is, guys. This is like I definitely want to be able to cu uh, customize it, my own character. The only thing I want to know is that if you're able to import these characters inside games. So like you can make like so say that I want to make my own World War Two game, right? So um, I want to know if you're able to add more more than just that, like. Um, like have like helmets and stuff like i know that you you're able to add like clothes and stuff but i'm not i'm not talking just about clothes i'm talking like helmets like you know have it really stand out so you can select from around 30 hairstyles that um that use unreal engine uh strand based hair or hair cuts from l for lower end platforms there's also a set of example clothing to choose from as well as 18 different proportion and body types when you're um happy with your human you could download the asset via quixel bridge so uh fully rigged and ready for animation and motion capture in unreal engine and complete with lods so assuming this is free <laughs> hopefully it is um that uh you can actually you could actually make your own like Think of it as an interview. You can make your own like movie with this. It'd be really cool. So you will get uh, the source data in the form of a Maya file, including meshes, skeletons, facial rig, animation controls, and materials. All right, that's pretty, that's pretty cool. So once you ha once you have your asset, you could animate it using performance capture tools. You could use Unreal Engine's Live Link Face iOS app. All right, um, let me check what this is. No, oh, it's probably that's weird. So it must have been the Wi-Fi or something. Um. So and we're also currently working with vendors on providing support for R kits, DI four D digital domain dynamics, faceware, face faceware, Jolly. I think uh, speech graphics and cubic motions solutions or keyframe it manually. So all right, I need to know when when this. Uh, is out. All right, so, oh, this is a free sample? Nice. I am a metahuman, the next generation of digital human powered by Unreal Engine. Metahumans are high fidelity digital characters created by you, the user, on our new content creation platform, Metahuman Creator. I am fully rigged, ready for animation and motion capture, allowing you to work in context. With everything running live in Unreal Engine, my motion works seamlessly. On other characters, I have eight levels of detail and have been tested on a wide range of hardware platforms, from feature film to mobile. If you're interested in learning about my animation rig or- Wait, hold up. Mobile? So you could do this on mobile? 
Yo, that's insane. High fidelity deformations built on control rig. The new strand based hair system via the groom component, or how everything is tied together and animated in sequencer. Then have a look under the hood in this project. This is just a glimpse of things to come. Yo, that's insane. When, all right, so when does Meta Human Creator come out? I need to know. So it says, yeah, it says 2021. All right, so, so yeah, I know it says, it should be, yeah, I know it. it is coming 2021. I think the, uh, it should be coming around, like, I, in my opinion, around May. Um, so guys, that's all you have to know about MetaHuman. I don't want to keep you guys here too long. Yeah, it's only been 10 minutes or almost 11 actually. But thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you have, drop a like and subscribe for more future videos. And hopefully when it releases, we can uh, start making our own customized character. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you did, peace out.